Hey guys, welcome to Ignite Fitness. Today I'm going to take you through a weighted leg and booty workout. Make sure that you do a good warm up before this one. It's only 12 minutes long, 15 minutes with your rest in there. We've got 12 moves, one minute each. Okay, I've got a set of 12s and a set of 15s. Some of the moves that we're going to do are not weighted um, for our kickbacks and stuff. Make sure that you do the warm up. Like I said before, get ready. Let's get going. I'm going to start the timer. We're going to demo straight into it. Picking up your weight on your mat. Sit on your heels. Let's go into camels. So we're squeezing at the top here, pushing those feet together. I always like to keep my big toes touching. Some people like to do them a little bit wider, but for my knee comfort, I like to keep my knees touching. Make sure you have a mat handy, right? Take some pressure off those knees. So I'm using 15s up here. If you find that holding two weights is too much, you can drop one and just hold one weight with both hands. Really squeeze those glutes at the top, guys. Beautiful. Squeeze them tight. Get that nice booty work. This is such a nice shaping move. I love it. It's a great way to start a workout. A little gentle. Maybe that little half second hold at the top. So you can really activate through that squeeze. Squeeze it up, lower down. Beautiful. Set one weight out of the way. Take one weight in your hand. Onto our backs. We're going into either butterflies or frog pumps, whatever you want to call them. On your back. Soles of your feet pressed together. Your weight just can sit on your hip bones. And we're going to squeeze it up for one minute. Take a nice big breath. Let's go, guys. Squeeze it up. Again, this is one that's really targeting the booty. Squeeze. And again, that little half second hold at the top can give us that deeper activation through those boot muscles. Creating power behind the glutes, right? The glutes are the biggest muscle group in the body. We're working those glutes and hamstrings together. We want to create lots of power in there. That's where all our lifting power comes from. So we want to tone them and tighten them. Strengthen them, challenge them in different ways. Squeeze at the top. Pushing that pelvis as high as you can towards the sky. Really reach for it. Beautiful, guys. So just drop that weight to the side. Roll up nice and slow. Flipping onto our hands and knees, we got kickbacks. So on our hands and knees here. Beautiful everything stack. We're gonna lift one leg, doesn't matter which one you start with. Flexing that foot, two, one. And we're just lifting and kicking it back. Now remember guys, we're here for an entire minute. So slow them down. Take that time to engage that core. Squeeze the boot on the top. A little half second hold, so important. So really challenging our buckle endurance. Then we push for a whole minute on one side. Squeeze it up. Since this is such a short workout, if you want to combine it with abs and booty or 15 minute abs, do so. This will also pair really nicely with upper body workouts, either the weighted or the non-weighted workouts. I'll post links to those workouts in the description. But this is a really great way to challenge those legs, start building up to the longer endurance workouts. I will always make an effort to keep the workouts under 30 minutes. But this is just where you know, we're just getting started in our community here, right? We want to start building that strength and eventually work our way up to where we're doing this, this whole routine twice and we're building up to a closer to those 30 minute workouts. Flex the opposite foot, get ready to push it up, and three, Two, one, lift and squeeze. Take your time, really feel that activation right at the back of that glute right here. That's where you really want to feel that little pinch at the top. Don't arch your back. Slow and controlled breath here. Lift and squeeze. Beautiful. Hold it up. Hard guys, remind yourself of 
why you're here, right? You're trying to be a, become a better version of yourself, a stronger version of yourself. You're trying to improve your longevity of your life, your overall health, your stamina, your endurance, your balance, all those good things. Remind yourself this why you're here. You want to be a better mom, a better grandma, a better dad, a better brother, a better sister, a better friend. Squeeze it up. And rest. Beautiful, guys. Let's take it back and onto those heels. Get a little pressure off those glutes because we're going to go into a nice abductor here or a fire hydrant. And we're just going to lift and lower for an entire minute on one side. Here we go, guys. Three, two, one. So what I mean when I say that we're trying to strengthen our muscle endurance is that ability for that muscle to work for a long period of time. It takes time to build endurance, just like it takes time to build strength. When we want to build strength, we want slower, controlled movement, less time, heavier weight. For endurance, we want lighter weight, longer times. So that's what we're working on today, building that endurance and strength in our legs. Leave that core tight too, protect your back. Let the record down yell again. Squeeze it up. Keep that gaze too out in front of your mat. Don't look down at your legs. Don't tuck that chin. You want a nice flat back, neutral spine alignment. We got less than 10 seconds, guys. Squeeze that booty at the top. Give me that little bit of hang time. Almost there. Two, and last one. Beautiful. Sink it back, tap the hips onto the heels. I'm just gonna flip it around so that I don't crash into the wall. Whew. Get ready on your hands and knees again. Shake out those wrists. If you need to go on your knuckles, guys, that's always your modifier here. Three, two, one. And we're lifting and lowering on the opposite leg. Again, if you feel like one side is more challenging, that's entirely normal. This leg was just stabilizing you for an entire minute. So of course it's gonna be tired. It just, it did put work in. While the other one was doing more active work, he was doing more isometric work, holding you in place, stabilizing your core for you. Breathe here. Beautiful, really squeeze that glute. Working that whole side booty here, that glute knee and glute min. Nice round booties coming at us. Squeeze it up. Almost there, guys. Don't give up. I know it starts to burn. A little firecrackers in those boots, but it is worth it. You keep pushing. Anything for a minute. Lift and squeeze. Beautiful. Again, tap that booty onto those heels. What have we got next? All right, we're going to come up. Grabbing one weight, I'm gonna go with my 15. We're gonna hold the torch and we're gonna go to some traveling squats. So starting on one end of your mat, we're traveling two to the side and back. Let's go guys, sink it low and stay low the entire time. Now the side of our booty just worked a lot. So you're really gonna feel that here, right? When we're working out for a short amount of time, it's only a 15 minute workout. We really have to focus on targeting those similar muscles so that we burn them out to build that strength. Right? We can't just throw a bunch of moves together and hope that we get some results. Right? There has to be lots of thought on the muscles that we're working and each of these movements and how those moves are going to work together to get you your results. So yes, I know this burns. I know that those muscles have already worked, but they can handle it, I assure you. Squeeze side to side. Keep it low, keep that core tight, flat back. We only got 10 seconds to go, guys. Hold it strong here. If you need to drop that weight, drop it. But you keep moving. Beautiful, coming up to center. We got dumbbell swings here. Catch your breath. Make sure you're not facing a TV or a window. <laughs> We're going to feet hip width apart. Swing the dumbbell between our legs and bring it up. Let's go back. A full minute here. So again, focusing on protecting that lower back, hiking that weight between your legs like a football and squeezing it up. Lots of power, 
behind those glutes and those legs. Shove it forward. Lots of gusto behind there. And squeeze everything at the top. You flow with that weight, right? The more you flow with that weight, the more you're gonna protect that lower back. Over halfway there, guys. We got it. Keep squeezing with me. Keep pumping. Proud of you guys. Keep going. You got 15 seconds. Don't give up. I know those glutes are getting tired. Those hamstrings are getting tired. They're working. Squeeze everything. Almost there. Almost there. Last one. Woo! And bring it down through your legs and drop that weight. Good job, guys. You are so amazing. I'm so proud of you guys. Challenging yourselves every day. Showing up for yourselves. We're going to go into a lateral pulse here. So we're just going to drop nice and easy into that same leg. One minute on one side. We're going to pulse here. Sinking into that seat. We got one weight in the hand and we just got the other hand on our hip or out to the side for stabilization. Just pulse through that leg. Sink it up and down. Core tight and we got a nice flat back. So I'm looking straight ahead of me and so are you. Don't look down at the floor. Don't look down at your mat. Keep your eyes up and your chest lift. And you sink into that leg. Got a little bit of an isometric hold going here. We're keeping that contraction on that muscle. We got 20 seconds yet. It burns. Yes, it burns. But focus on my voice here, okay? I'm talking to you. Focus on me. Listen to the words that I'm saying. You're strong. You are amazing. And you can do this. 20 seconds is nothing out of your day. So focus on the sound of my voice. And let's get through this workout. Beautiful. Oh, oh, oh. Shake out those legs. Switch the weight in your hands. Have a piece of water if you need it. We are going to switch to the opposite leg. Nice big cleansing breath. Get ready to step it out wide. Woo! Here we go. Three, two, one. And we're just sinking here. Right? Our feet, our toes are parallel to the front of the room. And we're just sinking. Not coming all the way up. Really keeping that contraction there and holding that weight. This arm is active that's holding the weight. Right? We want it to work a little bit because we don't want that weight to drag us down or hurt our backs. So that arm is active the entire time, pushing through the heel on the supporting leg, on that little pulse up. Squeeze it through. You guys, I know that this is challenging, but everything in life is challenging. Everything in life worth having is a challenge. If you want it, you gotta work for it, and that's not a bad thing. That's a good thing. That's the most amazing part about being a human. We're so strong and resilient and perseverant. And when we truly want something, we will do whatever it takes to have it. Then I know that you will. I know that you'll stick with me and stay with me every day for these workouts. And I think that's so commendable and so amazing. Rest, guys. We're done with that one. Pick up your heavy weights. One weight or two weight, whatever you need. I'm going to use two 15s. We've got a deadlift. Really working that booty here. So bending those knees, sinking those hips back, and squeezing at the top. Three. Two, one. So here I'm using 15s. I could potentially challenge myself with 20, but a minute with 20s is a long time. For me, that's a big commitment. I don't know if I could safely and with proper form sustain that kind of weight. So this is what I mean when I say this is an endurance workout. If I was going for more strength and I wanted to do lower reps or a lower time frame, I would go for 20, 25, maybe even 30s. At home, I don't have access, which I mean, the majority of people do not have access to extremely heavy dumbbells or squat racks or anything. So then we make these what we have. And we can still get fabulous results, nice big round booties, without having to use the big heavy weights that are offered in the gym room. Keep squeezing, guys. Weights to mid shin. Almost there. Woo! Beautiful. Set those weights out of your way. Put them down safely. Meet me down on the mat. Come in to a nice side position. Hang out here. Take those feet 45 degree angle in front of you. 
We are just gonna do some nice lifts. Here we go. Lift and squeeze. Just a nice easy lift, you guys. Just gently, barely tapping it to the other foot and lifting up. You're using this arm here to stabilize yourself. You're good here, you can lay it down, support yourself, whatever you need. Last one like this, now hold it up guys. We're gonna pulse, pulse, pulse. I know we've done this in other workouts. This may not be everyone's favorite moves, but it's so effective. I call this the supermodel workout. But you see all those supermodels doing in the 80s and 90s uh, workout videos, right? Folding legs up, pulsing it out. All right, guys, three, two, one, hold it up, hold it up, point that toe, point that toe and squeeze. Keep those hips parallel, don't let yourself lean forward. And rest it down, good job, guys. We got one more side to do. I'm gonna have to reset the timer here. Three, two, one, take it up. Just nice, easy lifts here. Almost there. This is our last move. So proud of you, you've done it. Awesome muscle endurance, leg and booty workout. We worked them hard. Leave a comment below guys. Let me know what you prefer. Hold it and pulse. Do you want to see more workouts that are no repeat? Do you want heavier weighted workouts? You gotta let me know. I need some feedback so I can provide you the content that you are looking for. Okay, I'm trained in a variety of different training styles. So you guys let me know what you wanna see. Already ready? Three, two, one. Hold it up, point that toe. Point it, point it, point it. Hold and squeeze, guys. We're almost there. Squeeze through it, squeeze through it. Woo! Nice big breaths, nice big breaths. Almost there. Three, two, one. Beautiful. You did it. You crushed it. Make sure you do the cool down workout below. Like, comment, subscribe, guys. Have an awesome day.